King Charles III, the newly crowned monarch of the United Kingdom, sat pensively in his chambers, his brow furrowed with the weight of his responsibilities. As he gazed out the window, his eyes drifted toward the figure of his eldest son, Prince William, standing in the distance. The king's heart was heavy, for he knew the immense pressure and expectations that weighed upon his heir. William, the future king, carried the burden of an entire nation on his shoulders, and Charles wished he could do more to ease that load. In his mind, the title his son currently held, the Duke of Cambridge, simply did not do justice to the greatness that Charles knew William was destined for. With a deep sigh, the king reflected on the journey that had brought them to this moment. He remembered the day he had ascended to the throne, the weight of the crown heavy upon his head as he pledged to serve his people with unwavering dedication. And now, as he looked upon his son, he saw the same sense of duty and purpose shining in William's eyes. If only I could give him more, Charles murmured to himself, his fingers tracing the intricate patterns on the arm of his chair. He deserves so much more than what he has now. The king's thoughts were interrupted by the gentle knock on the door, and he turned to see his wife, Queen Consort Camilla, entering the room. Her eyes were filled with concern as she approached him, placing a comforting hand on his shoulder. My dear, what troubles you so? she asked, her voice soft and soothing. Charles hesitated for a moment, unsure of how to express the turmoil that was raging within him. It's William, he finally admitted. I wish I could do more to honor him, to give him the title he rightfully deserves. Camilla nodded, understanding the weight of her husband's words. I know, my love, she said, her own eyes reflecting the same sense of concern. But you must remember that William's worth is not defined by his title alone. It is in the way he carries himself, the compassion he shows, and the unwavering dedication he has to our family and our nation. The king turned to face his wife, his expression softening. You're right, of course, he said, a small smile tugging at the corners of his lips. William has always been a true leader, even from a young age. And I know that whatever the future holds, he will be more than ready to take on the mantle of the crown. Camilla returned his smile, her hand gently squeezing his arm. Then trust in him, my love, she said. Trust that he will rise to the occasion, just as you have done. Charles nodded, his gaze once again drifting toward the window, where William stood, his posture straight and his bearing regal. The king knew that his son was destined for greatness, and he was determined to do everything in his power to ensure that William was prepared for the challenges that lay ahead. As the days turned into weeks, the air of uncertainty continued to linger within the palace walls. The nation and the world watched with bated breath, eager to see what the future held for the House of Windsor. And at the heart of it all, King Charles and Prince William navigated the complexities of their roles, each man facing his own unique set of challenges. For William, the pressure was immense. With the weight of the crown looming ever closer, he found himself grappling with the weight of his responsibilities. He knew that one day, he would be the one to sit upon the throne, to lead his people through times of triumph and adversity. And as he looked into the eyes of his young children, he was acutely aware of the legacy he would one day leave behind. Yet, even amidst the turmoil, William found solace in the love and support of his wife, Princess Catherine. Together, they faced the challenges head-on, their bond growing stronger with each passing day. Catherine, ever the pillar of strength, stood by her husband's side, offering her unwavering support and guidance. As William navigated the intricacies of royal life, he often found himself turning to his father for counsel and wisdom. King Charles, with the burden of the crown resting heavily upon his shoulders, understood the complex emotions that his son was experiencing. And in those moments, 
he would offer words of encouragement and reassurance, reminding William that he was more than ready to take on the mantle of leadership. You have the strength and the courage to lead our nation, Charles would say, his hand resting gently on his son's shoulder. I have no doubt that you will be a great king, just as your mother would have been. The mention of Princess Diana, William's beloved mother, never failed to stir a mix of emotions within the young prince. The memory of her warmth, her kindness, and her unwavering dedication to the people was a constant source of inspiration for him. And as he navigated the challenges of his own life, he found himself drawing strength from the legacy she had left behind. Meanwhile, as the royal family grappled with the weight of their responsibilities, another storm was brewing on the horizon. Behind the grand facades of the palace, a deeply personal battle was being waged, one that tested the very core of the Windsor's resilience. It was a battle that had first come to light when Princess Catherine, the beloved Duchess of Cambridge, had been diagnosed with a devastating illness. The news had sent shockwaves through the nation as the public rallied to offer their support and prayers for the young royal. For Catherine, the diagnosis had been a devastating blow, but with the unwavering love and support of her husband and family, she had resolved to fight the disease with every fibre of her being. And as she underwent the gruelling treatments, her determination only grew stronger, fueled by the knowledge that she was fighting not just for herself, but for her family and her country. As the news of Catherine's illness spread, the public's outpouring of support was overwhelming. Across the UK and beyond, People from all walks of life came together to offer their well wishes and their prayers, rallying behind the Duchess in her time of need. For William, the experience was a testament to the deep bond he shared with his wife. In the face of adversity, their love only grew stronger, and he was determined to do everything in his power to support Catherine in her fight. She is the strongest most resilient person I know, William had said in a rare public statement. And I have no doubt that she will emerge from this battle even stronger than before. As the world watched with bated breath, Catherine continued to face her challenges with grace and courage. With the unwavering support of her husband and her family, she underwent the gruelling treatments, never losing hope in her ability to overcome the disease. And through it all, the nation stood by her side, offering their prayers and their unwavering support. From the humble streets of London to the grand halls of Buckingham Palace, the people of the UK united in their love and admiration for the Duchess, inspired by her strength and her resilience. For King Charles, the sight of his daughter-in-law's brave battle only served to deepen his respect and admiration for her. He had always known that Catherine was a woman of remarkable character, but in the face of this challenge, her true mettle had been tested and proven. She is a true inspiration to us all, the king had said in a rare public address. Her courage and her determination are a testament to the strength of the human spirit, and we are all in awe of her bravery. As the days turned into weeks, and the weeks into months, the nation watched with a mixture of hope and trepidation, waiting with bated breath to see the outcome of Catherine's battle. And through it all, the love and support of her family and her people remained a constant, unwavering source of strength. For William, the experience had only deepened his respect and admiration for his wife. He had always known that she was a remarkable woman, but in the face of this challenge, her true strength had been revealed. And as he stood by her side, offering his unwavering support and love, he knew that no matter what the future held, they would face it together. As the months wore on, the nation watched with a mix of hope and concern, as Catherine continued to fight her battle with the same unwavering determination that had come to define her. And through it all, the House of Windsor remained steadfast in their support their own personal struggles intertwined with the larger narrative that was unfolding before the world. For King Charles, 
the experience had been a true test of his own leadership and resilience. As the patriarch of the family, he had been called upon to guide his loved ones through this difficult time, offering them the strength and the wisdom they needed to navigate the uncharted waters. And in those moments, the king had found solace in the knowledge that his son, Prince William, was more than ready to take on the mantle of leadership. With each passing day, William had proven himself to be a true leader, his compassion and his dedication shining through in every decision he made. As the world watched with bated breath, the future of the monarchy hung in the balance, a testament to the strength and resilience of the House of Windsor. And at the heart of it all, King Charles, Prince William, and Princess Catherine continued to navigate the complexities of their roles, each one playing a vital part in shaping the destiny of the nation. In the end, it was not the title or the crown that truly defined the greatness of these individuals, but the strength of their character, the depth of their love, and the unwavering commitment to the people they had sworn to serve. His compassion, wisdom, and fatherly embrace have been a source of immense comfort. We are truly blessed to have him by our side. In the days and weeks that follow, the royal family will undoubtedly face many more challenges, both personal and public. But as they navigate this delicate situation, the world will be watching, united in the hope that Princess Catherine will emerge victorious, and that the House of Windsor will emerge stronger than ever before. This is a test of our resilience as a nation, King Charles remarked in a recent address. But I have no doubt that, with God's grace and the unwavering spirit of the British people, we will overcome this adversity and emerge even more united and steadfast in our support for one another. As the nation holds its collective breath, the future of the monarchy hangs in the balance. But in the heart of Buckingham Palace, a father's love and a leader's wisdom are the beacons that guide the way forward, illuminating a path towards healing and hope.